And that, my lovely lady, is how we will begin every podcast moving forward. We just magically Ooh. appear. Fancy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the pilot, the troubleshooting episode of Aquariums Unfiltered. Moving forward, you guys will be called my tank mates. Isn't that genius? It is genius. Yeah. So, um, there's a few things we got to talk about today. Uh, a lot of things is just clearing the air, uh, as well as, you know, cover a couple of different subjects, etc. There's a few different things I want to talk about just to, just to make things entirely clear. First and foremost, who the hell is this? It's me. <laughs> Who's Tamara? I see that comment all the time, and then lots of people try to ask it. That's his wife. Uh, that's the mother of his kids. And then some people are like, mm, I don't know. That kind of looks like the <laughs> age of one of his kids, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, Tamara, <laughs> and, th- and I'm only going to do this once. I'm not going to keep yeah, answering this or anything like that. So for people that are like, Joey, you know what? It's none of our business, et cetera, et cetera. Shout out to you guys. Mm-hmm. But for those that just cannot start stop spreading this information. I have a podcast now. <laughs> I can talk about whatever we want. Uh, Tamara's my girlfriend. She's been my girlfriend for approximately what is it, three years. Coming up on three years, yep. Yeah. So I do have kids. I got a, a couple of teenagers. Haley, my gorgeous, talented, amazing, beautiful daughter, uh, as well as Darius, my son. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. <laughs> He's so great, but uh, he doesn't need to be told that he's just like me. If I keep if I keep gassing him up, his head's going to explode. He's going to be uh, something incredible someday. So yeah, I, I did have kids with um, uh, my ex Tanya, fantastic person. I, I'm not going to at any point sit here and trash her or talk anything, but you know, um, I'm a very loyal person, and I try to make things work no matter what. Things just weren't working. I thought so many things could fix it and that sort of thing, and so we got married. Um, in was it 2000 and uh i gotta 2017 2017 late 2017 um and then november december january february march april so it was five months later uh, i filed for divorce and we separated and Mm -hmm. you know I, i i thought marriage would fix it and that sort of thing and because I was on the internet and so many eyes were on me, I felt like this, I got to do this. I got to be the right thing, but mm-hmm. didn't work out and uh, separated. And I've been with Tamara ever since. Um, Tamara sh- shares a lot of interests and passions with me. Incredibly supportive, loves what I do. And the only person, and before you say me too, the only person that I know for a fact, watch all of my videos. And that's why uh, she is my co-host for Aquariums Unfiltered. Tell me a little bit about yourself because we are in the presence of greatness. If you guys don't understand or don't know just yet, Tamara, tell me a little bit about yourself. What are your interests? Um, I know that you're uh, so at least somewhat educated. You got some college education. Um, yeah, I. Um, m- I don't really before, know where before we go any started. further, before we go any further, <laughs> mind you, she's new to all this. This isn't easy on her, guys. Take it easy. Um, encourage her. I know some of you guys are just here to look at her. I, I don't blame you. <laughs> she's gorgeous, but she's super, super, super smart. And um, yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot of the conversations we're gonna have. We've been talking and uh, nonstop for the mm-hmm. past three years, but we have so much, lo- yeah, so much left to talk about. And uh, there's gonna be a big eye opener in um, in today's video. But yeah, just to just to fully encapsulate and and to kind of circle back, just in case. You know, it continuously comes up. There's no uh, ill feelings, no hard feelings against uh, my ex or anything like that. You know, the only thing that um, that I will say that has only ever bothered me from my channel was like um, when people are like, oh, your wife's such a great person and, you know, you're so lucky to have her. She's so supportive. And this isn't ne- necessarily a bad thing to say. It's just the yeah. truth. And then we're going to move on. We're never going to circle back mm-hmm. to this. Um, she hated what I did. Uh, she despised my fish tanks uh, and constantly made fun of it, etc. And I just wasn't getting the support, wasn't getting the love. There was no passion, etc. And I did everything in my power to fix things, including what I thought. So I'm so loyal yeah. and, 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 and so romantic mm-hmm. and, and romanticized too many things to the point where it's just silly to do so. Married her thinking things would f- would change and yeah. fix and you can't use it as a bandage though yeah but i was with her for so long mm-hmm. that i was like i gotta do something mm-hmm. of course yeah so you're my second girlfriend the past 20 years and so many people i have to answer the internet like 
I didn't know that I was going to have to like clear it through the internet who I was mm-hmm. going to date or mm-hmm. what I was going to do with my personal life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But now's your opportunity to criticize because we're on a podcast and I am <laughs> totally willing to dive deep. We're not going to talk about this again. Last time we talked about it, but I've never really talked about this, never really mentioned it. Um, but allow this to be a sneak peek into what this podcast is truly about. And it's going to be a conversation. It's going to be deep diving. Yeah. Uh, we will be knowledge dumping. We will be uh, maybe maybe at some point we get your favorite aquarium hobbyist, some super duper star on the podcast. And maybe we don't even talk about fish. Maybe I just want you guys to hear what two fish keepers talk about because I have so many conversations constantly and you're yeah. in the background and like I'm on the phone. But mm-hmm. as soon as I pick up the phone, I'm like, oh, it's so-and-so. I haven't mm-hmm. talked to them in like two years. And I'm on there for like an hour and a half, two yeah. hours. And then at the end, I've been telling them like, this should have been a podcast. Mm-hmm. We could have did this. We could have done that. that. They're at like, the end of every single time. Yeah. Because like, it it's such great conversations and, and, and so much information behind the scenes. And it's things that I really want to hear about and really want to talk about. Yeah. Um, and here's my opportunity to do so. Back to you, Tamara. So a little bit about yourself. Go. Um, I grew up in a small town. <laughs> <laughs> me too Toronto, nova scotia uh i i completed all my schooling um up to high school then i did a year of college i took business administration thinking that i was going to continue um the program after thank you <laughs> um i thought that i was going to take my two years and then move on and get my like full like bachelor of business uh with another two years but then i changed my mind uh after the first year it just wasn't exactly what i expected and I kind of just stopped after that. Um, but I also have a, a large history of doing dog sports. Mm-hmm. Wait for it. And I do <laughs> happen to be the running national champ in the CDDA, the Canadian Dust Dog Association. Yeah, so she's the national champion, number one in Canada for several years. And she doesn't brag about this, and she didn't realize the importance of it, but... Um, she's told me certain things and I seen all your awards and you and literally she was putting the ribbons and everything up on her walls in her bedroom and um she was running out of space and one of the things she was like well I won the national disc champions or basically you take a frisbee and whoever throws it the furthest and the dog actually catches, catches it, it yeah. and brings it back you win or something or whoever yeah. who is the longest it was it. over like two days two days her dogs are like humans the tiny little smart people but they have fur and sticky breath besides That's score true. scores Very a bro true. i gotta yeah for those a, that follow me on instagram dude. you've seen score yeah <laughs> um so yeah in, in, incredibly interesting there um but she always down talks it and i was like whoa 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 the first time the reason why she calls herself the running national champion is because i put that in your head i was like you did i was like you are literally number one in the country and nobody has dethroned you mm-hmm. obviously with with the pandemic and covid and whatnot you know the, nobody's going to be competing but it doesn't matter Mm-hmm. until they take your championship you are a champion and you've been champion yeah. for years so in that um, federation yeah yeah when you accomplish something that very little people in the world does it's okay to brag it's okay to be like that maybe not publicly you got to stay humble i guess to yeah. an extent but uh so you've got uh you, you're pretty big into dogs mm-hmm. um that was like my whole life but you did have a my fish before life. i did have one one fish i had about a fish um his name was jewel <laughs> <laughs> and he lived to be like three or four years old or something like that. And I had no idea what I was doing. Well, that's the I life expectancy of a better. They don't live long. No, what I did for water changes. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I did everything wrong. Like, if I think back and I see how you do things, I'm like, I was so wrong. I don't know how it lived that long. <laughs> but my sister had three in the time that I had one. So I was like, <laughs> I'm a good fish keeper. Well, being a beta or beta or however you m- want to pronounce it, wherever you are in the world. They are a labyrinth fish, so they do have an organ in the back of their head that allows them to uh, gulp oxygen, per se, mm-hmm. and dilute it through their bloodstream. Um, that might not be the, the the proper language to use there, but what essentially what it means is when water quality gets really bad, they can just go to the top and gasp for yeah. air. Yeah, and I remember seeing him do that. Yeah, probably, probably all the time. quite often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so one of the things that I found... Um, so. You did. We knew each other for several years before we started talking and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But when you found out I was a, a YouTuber, and then you kind of dove deeper into my videos, you did what nobody else has ever done. You start from the beginning, and watched yeah. all my videos one by one, in succession, and like mm-hmm. one after another, all the way to the end. So, you guys watched me get better 
Although some of my people <laughs> might say, Joey, you've gotten worse. But you literally watched me devolve. Uh, yeah, I watched you backwards. Like, yeah. if if you were a show on TV, I would have watched the end season, like, from the last episode. <laughs> you watched how it watched ended. watched it backwards. Yeah. Which is a weird way to do it. I don't even know why I did it that way. But I wanted to, like, see the current stuff that you were doing at the same time as everyone else. So I was like, well, I'll just watch. Mm-hmm. I'll just watch them backwards. But you did, but you, you're the only one that I know that can pass all my quizzes. So when I ask you, like, when I, when I'm like, well, I don't, I don't quiz you. I don't see the purpose to doing that. But when somebody's like, oh, I'm your biggest fan, et cetera. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Do you know this, that, and the other thing? Well, um, mm, uh, mm, I don't, well, um, mm. So I'm curious if you're the if you are my biggest fan, are you willing to go heads up with me with a quiz? Let me know in the comment section below because that's fascinating to me. Like, um, because I often think that I'm not as good as some people say. I often think that you know I always discredit myself mm-hmm. and you know doubt myself, especially with this podcast. I was terrified to start this. We're gonna get that in, into that in a minute and really deep dive into what this podcast is gonna be about. Yeah. But you know everything. I mean, and that's why you're the yeah. co-host. In the back because, of my head, I know everything. Yeah, and that, there's and, some things I probably forget here and there. And that's why you're co-host. We're gonna have to yeah. get a couple more mics because as soon as the travel restrictions in Canada is here, I'm flying people in. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna talk about some planned guests, etc. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd love to get your guys' feedback if the, if if I don't know about somebody and you think we could have a good conversation, let me know in the comment section below. Mm-hmm. I have some ideas. I have names and people that you don't know about that you definitely should. However, we should talk about, you know, um, I did take some um, some points mm-hmm. of what, what what we'll kind of be covering in today's pilot. pilot. Not necessarily a, a, a full podcast, but I mean, this might be 10 minutes. This might be an hour. This might be three hours. Who knows mm-hmm. how long these will go for. But first thing I want to talk about is what the podcast is and what it's not. So what it's not is I'm not going to invite people onto my podcast and ask them what their top fa- three favorite fish are, um, unless it sparks real conversation. Mm-hmm. But this isn't edited. We're not. I'm not. Le- I'm, I'm, the, nobody's going to be allowed to go on Google or try to get answers or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to be like. I don't want to do anything. So we're not an interview. I'm not good at interviews. Mm-hmm. I overtalk everybody. I know I do, but a lot of that is to kill dead air and keep the conversation going. It simply is what I said it is before any of you subscribed, and that is simply that this is a conversation between aquarium hobbyists, which Mm -hmm. I think is going to fare pretty well. Yeah. And I also think that I'm going to be able to hang with some of the cool, like some of the uh, cooler people than me or some people that know more than me, et cetera, because at the end of the day, I've been doing this for like 20 years, Mm -hmm. you know, hobbyist and uh, making these videos for almost 13 and I've been dying to do a podcast again and talk about things and elaborate with things. Mm-hmm. And the reason why it's a separate channel is very simple. If this flops, we can kind of push it under the rug. I don't think it's going to. But I also, um, I don't care about monetization or anything mm-hmm. with this. This There's no motives behind this channel besides having conversations. Mm-hmm. You don't um, have to stress about like, oh, if I talk about this, is it going to rank well in the algorithm? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not the point. And, and I grown to love podcasts i listen to them almost yeah. every day now yeah and just like nothing's enough and there's lots of aquarium podcasts out there shout out to shout out to the you guys but they're just not for me i just I'm, i can't get hooked on them i can't listen to them they're not relatable enough etc and maybe this isn't for many people but we'll we'll see this is again the pilot so we'll see mm-hmm. once we get you know some actual guests on here uh and that's I guess that is a, a, a nice little intro into the next section of like who is going to be a guest. Mm-hmm. And that is what fascinates me. And a big reason, again, why this is a separate entity than my main channel. Not only are we don't care over here, but the guests don't have to be my friend. No. You don't even have to like me. Mm-hmm. But I think we could have an interesting conversation. The more you don't like yeah. me, the better the conversation could well, potentially be. Then it becomes even more interesting because you almost, it almost becomes like a debate. Yeah. Oh, and I also don't have to keep keep your inf- I don't have to keep your attention and worry about hooking you in the first mm-hmm. five to ten seconds and 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 upping my energy and injecting those emotions into you. Yeah. This is I can be more so along like being yourself type of thing. And I am myself. Yeah. In my videos, yep. I mean, depending on what personality I wake up with that day, I mean, yeah. I could be Patricia, <laughs> <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Joey. I don't know who. I would, like, who knows? Yeah. Um, 
So I'm excited to see what happens and uh, go full force on this. I don't think it'll take away from my main channel. But no. if it does, it's only because I'm happier doing this. Yeah. And that's okay, too. Yeah. I don't see this, like, making more money. No, of or course not. And it's not like you're going to be like, or... oh, well, this podcast is doing something and buy old channel. <laughs> like, I think you'll still continue doing the other channel. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, so, I, so I'm pretty excited about that. Like, because I have, like, I know that certain people don't like me. And I would love to get them on the podcast, not to like For humiliate sure. them or anything like that, but to actually have a conversation and mm -hmm. see what it's like on that other side of the yeah. fence. What, yeah, just to have a better understanding of like what it is that they don't like and why don't they like yeah. it and what do they think that they can do better. Yeah, well, yeah. And so it, it would be interesting to see what you guys think. Uh, so let me know in the comment section below. Um, in, even if you're one of those channels that don't like me, let me know. Comment. Like I'm open to doing whatever. Mm hmm um, I feel like I got to have the first few episodes to be amazing and awesome. Mm -hmm. But these are the learning episodes. These are the stumbling episodes. How are these videos going to go and how how will we do these episodes? I do know that we're starting off with video only exclusive on YouTube mm -hmm. at Aquarium's unfiltered podcast channel. Eventually, we'll get on to Spotify. I don't think I'm going to get on to Stitcher and all those other platforms that I did before. Like I was in yeah. Apple Music or something. I don't remember what I was in before. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll just do like audio and video. We got to mm -hmm. obviously make these videos before I have an audio platform to, to promote to, but yeah, uh, I never realized how difficult it was going to be to start a second channel. No, I guess it's so easy to have an established channel Yeah, to say, just start, just make mm -hmm. a channel mm -hmm. until I uploaded a video mm -hmm. and I have nothing to go on and I have to optimize everything and I yeah. have to figure out and link and verify and, mm -hmm. and have all these things going on and I was it was like a deer in the headlights yeah you forget all those like and, but the video goes out steps. in 15 minutes yeah. and I'm advertising it on a channel mm -hmm. and this is the only time that I felt like my channel was big like my main channel I was like a channel with over a million subscribers is about to shout me out <laughs> and I'm not ready and it's me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I'm in full control of both yeah you know, yeah. I do everything, all the editing, everything. And it'll be fascinating to see what happens with the podcast because we need more cameras. We need to do better things. I need to uh, fix the audio. There's a little bit of a, like a fuzzy little buzzy in the, in, in the background and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fix the lighting. Of course, we do have some glare and stuff on the logo that aquadecorbackgrounds.com made that. Mm -hmm. And they were like, can you show us out in the podcast? <laughs> I was like, well, you're going to be right there. Every Everybody podcast. knows <laughs> I didn't make that. I can build everything, but I can't build pretty stuff everybody knows that like the plywood tank i'll make a whole water but it's not gonna be pretty mm -hmm. yeah so there's things that we gotta adjust and fix and you know uh, and it's just it's just fascinating to me that um people still enjoy what i do after so long uh when i uploaded today's video i was like it's my last video nobody's gonna watch me after this they're no. not gonna care especially not gonna them. watch a, a podcast with me they're not gonna want to Listen so I upload the thoughts. video and I was like, you know, I was talking to her. I was like, imagine if I get a thousand subscribers. No, nobody's going to care. Everybody's going to be so pissed that I'm talking about anything else but the current video. I made the video and oh, man, I don't know what we got out of that. Like it was uploaded a couple hours ago. We're at three, four thousand subscribers couple on thousand our channel. A thousand tank mates out there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think yeah. it's such a cute name. We have to keep calling them that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And shout out to like um, Evan who kept his mouth shut. Yeah. Yep. He knew about this since like around Christmas time. Mm, yeah. Maybe a little after, a little mm -hmm. before. He knew. Uh, the. So what me and Evan do is we talk a lot. Um, I send him videos to use in his videos and some people are like, oh, you're stealing Joey's videos. I was like, no, that's one of my friends. Mm -hmm. And like I send my friends videos all the time if they mm -hmm. need a clip, quick clip or something. And if I got time and I'll, I'll send it off. But he knew and apparently we discussed we were both like drinking one night and we went we were balls deep in discussing podcasts and mm -hmm. what we, would it be called etc and i could have swore i came up with the name aquariums unfiltered but today he was like i was like um podcast ready guess what it's called and he's like aquariums unfiltered i was like yeah he's like we yeah i came up with that name, name. <laughs> i was like man i don't know did you maybe <laughs> probably possibly but he's um so we're we, we Apparently, we were going to do this podcast together, but it's impossible. He's in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, really cool dude, though, and, and him, him and I are friends. Um, I got to get him on as a guest at some point. Mm -hmm. That will be that will be a podcast that, like, you guys 
we'll just have to press play and listen. Yeah. Because I and it's gonna be probably drama filled. Most likely. Because when <laughs> Evan's gonna hate this, but when me and Evan start talking and gossiping, we're like two little girls. They are. <laughs> two little. They are. <laughs> And I don't hear everything, but just the little tidbits of information I get. Two little girls having a good time. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. But, you know, I, I, think, I think that um, moving forward with this podcast, I think we're going to have a good time. I think that it'll be interesting. And shout out to Sean Pectek, who mm-hmm. I did a pod, or I did an interview with him, like, yep. back in December. Yep. He's just uploaded it recently, so three months later. Mm-hmm. And uh, I told him when we were talking, I talked like four or five hours. Yep. But he uploaded only a two-hour video. But I also told him, and he took heat over this, like, oh, how long are you going to milk Joey's name? And I was like, I told him to chop that up Mm -hmm. into clips Mm -hmm. and try to get some momentum and make one of those clips go viral. You have a far better chance of something going crazy than one video upload five. Mm -hmm. It was a great conversation. It was, Um, yeah. And why wouldn't you take that opportunity to do that when it's being... yeah. Offered to you, <laughs> and but Sh- Sean is a nice guy. I like him. He's original, mm-hmm. and that's something that I'd love to talk about at some point. Is like, who's my favorite channels? Who's my inspiration? Can we get them on here? Mm-hmm. Can we? I think we could. I think so. I think we could. It was really good conversation. I remember like hearing it when I was in the background. I like to listen to anything you do, but it was like it was. There was a lot of different topics that came up that were interesting to listen to. Yeah, because like it was a genuine conversation. Because that was an unfiltered conversation. I mm-hmm. don't care. Like, so I'm a YouTuber, of course. And when it comes to YouTubers, a lot of it's phony. Mm-hmm. They're not. They don't talk like that in person. They certainly don't act like that. And and regardless of what anybody says, it's the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, but the biggest thing is like knowledge base. Do you really think they're just filled with that? Yeah. Is that it? Because I've talked to most of them, and I can mm-hmm. assure you, it's not. Mm-hmm. A lot, yeah, the yeah, a lot of Googling behind the scenes. A lot of Googling. A lot of Googling. Which isn't a bad thing, but yeah. you just don't have the same knowledge as somebody who's who's just been doing it for so long. Or they, I've said this for years. They just know it. I'd said this, know I, it. I've said this for years. The top 10 aquarium channels on YouTube, including myself, are not the ten, top 10 aquarium hobbies in the world. Mm-hmm. In comparison. And I think it's like that with a lot of things. Yeah. Do you think that really the most knowledgeable people are... They don't, they're not making YouTube. And the biggest thing is the reason why they don't YouTube, do YouTube is, is a daunting task. Where do I start? Will people watch me? Mm-hmm. You know, et cetera, et cetera. They maybe and think they don't have the time. Yeah. Yeah. But they also don't see the value in it. Like yeah. when I tried to get Rachel to start YouTubing, I, I, I got her to start for a, a very simple reason. She might be one of our first guests, by the way, because mm-hmm. she was the first strange stranger face she's not strange face yeah she's got strange no she's not a strange face she's a pretty girl um the thing that uh the reason why i wanted to get her doing youtube was to bring more credibility mm-hmm. to youtube because i was yeah. like God, anybody is making these videos and mm-hmm. they're dominating right now they don't need to know how to do anything they just have to be willing to make a video yeah um and she didn't see the value in it because she didn't right. know like so she was like, no, I already speak locally. I don't right. really want to do this. I got to get her on the podcast. So this mm-hmm. isn't fair to tell her story. But mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, but what about all the people you don't reach? Right. Like you're incredibly smart. Plus you're a female. We need more females in the hobby and to make it more normal. Yeah, for um, sure. And then I worked with Jenny from um, Solid, Solid Gold. Gold. Yeah, we did a few videos there. Yep. She was a sweetheart. You, mm-hmm. know, um, you know, she was fighting off a little bit of emotional things over the past few years and you know, wish her the best. But when it came to Rachel, I was like, okay, you could be a game changer. Yeah. And she did well. She got over a hundred thousand subscribers now. That's amazing. And she's killing it. Yeah. But I'm going to let her tell her story because it's mm-hmm. fascinating. Mm-hmm. And I think she'd do a fantastic job. Mm-hmm. For sure. But that just goes to show that like the best people in the hobby are probably not on YouTube. Mm-hmm. There's lots of great people. And I don't mean to discredit everybody. I just, I think there's too much hype around YouTubers. Yeah. I can see where you're coming from. To an extent. From. I know that I'm talented in terms of, like, how I do things and how I'm able to say things. And I know how influential I've been over the years. But mm-hmm. am I the best? You're able to capture best? that audience. Yeah. But, but you do the... have a lot of knowledge to go with it anyway. Or people yeah, I mean, you can't do something for 20 watch. years and not know something. Yeah. yeah. I'm aging myself here. I was in 20 years. 19 years. I'm not that old. So one of the things that I like about... Um, the studio is that it's in my basement we have drop ceilings in here so it is soundproof so the audio quality should be great but if you're listening and you think you can improve it or you know something that's wrong here 
please let me know in the comment section below. Remember, this is a small channel right now. I'm going to see every comment. Right. Um, and if you know a fix, I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a good YouTuber. I mean, I'm not good at editing. I'm not good at filming. I'm not good. I'm just sometimes can be good at explaining things. Mm. I lived my entire YouTube career by one statement. Um, and they don't even know if it was that person that said it. But Einstein once said, and that's not for sure. It's arguably he said it. But uh, if you cannot explain something simply, you do not understand it well enough yourself. Yeah. yeah. So that's I don't a talk very about powerful one. Yeah, and it's I a good one. Yeah, I don't talk about anything that I don't fully understand yeah. that I can't explain to you in, in a way that anybody can mm -hmm. understand. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of in people interested in uh, doing the podcast with me, and we'll see how things go. Uh, but ultimately it's a small channel, so it's not enticing for them. People want to get something out of collaborating. They want, yeah. they want to get some cloud or get some followers. And I, I don't blame you. I mean, mm -hmm. your dad is, uh, you know, you're donating all your time and I've, I do it yeah. for small channels all the time. Yeah. Um, and I spend a tremendous amount of my free time helping build other channels. I just don't need the whole pat on the back and I don't need them to say my name and, mm -hmm. or anything like that, but I'm always helping or donating to them or, for you sure. know, sending them something or doing something because i remember what it was like starting off like mm -hmm. that but now i am starting off like that i yeah. have a tiny channel there's a huge channel talking about me which is still my <laughs> channel but we got to get guests yeah i think i think It'll um spark all kinds gary of was over today and he was talking we having we were having a, a ton of good conversations and he started talking about behind the scenes stuff and mm -hmm. um i was like okay can you shut up until you're on my podcast <laughs> save it for the podcast gary <laughs> yeah well you did that Stop. earlier you were talking about things and i was like to. tamara shut up <laughs> save it for the podcast and that's why i'm worried about in-person podcasts because i'm gonna have to pick them up at the airport and then we're coming straight to my house depending on how much they've slept etc and then we're going on podcast yeah they don't even <laughs> and we're hitting the record whole drive here they don't get to talk yeah. like shut up don't talk save it yeah hit record and that and 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 if that's where all those gold like gems lay. So at the end, when I have a guest in here, I, I felt like this is something that I would want. Yeah. At the end of the interview, because it's not going to be live. If they don't like how it went, or mm -hmm. if they don't like what they said, I'll give them the opportunity. Yeah. We can edit it out, or we just go with it. Mm -hmm. So they will be in control ultimately. Because yeah. I'm never going to upload something that somebody doesn't want out there. Yeah, you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not a competition. I'm not here to flex on people, place. or you know, I'm yeah. not trying to get a guest on here where I know more than you. Yeah, you're not so trying pathetic. to expose anyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not insecure enough yet <laughs> to do that. Yet. But no, ultimately, you want the guest to feel comfortable. Yeah, I uploaded today's video, and I was so so worried i mm -hmm. was like Ugh. and the people that subscribe to this channel are like oh wow i've been with you for a long time like some people yeah, are saying eight nine years like i've been around i've been with you for so long mm -hmm. and you know just thank you um i gotta say like i live in a tiny town i don't have a lot of friends i spend most of my time myself a lot of people put me up on this pedestal like i'm the superstar or and um believe me i mean i got an ego and I could rock that that superstar ego that you're trying to give me, but mm -hmm. for the most part, um, I don't have many friends, and it's not because I don't want friends, it's because I live a normal life. Neither yeah. do you. You don't have a lot of friends, and yeah. all my friends don't have a lot of friends. Yeah. Um, Grown ups don't have a lot of friends. Yeah. <laughs> because it's you grow up and you need to. Yeah, there's so much stuff you have to do to maintain a friendship. Well, I was popular in high school and all that, and you know I went through all that, and it was mm -hmm. great. And it's not like I was a like bullied or anything like well I, I guess when i was much younger um but uh yeah I, I i i'm just a normal guy that made it on youtube with a lot of hard work and passion and mm -hmm. adapted to my audience and i hope to do it here mm -hmm. i hope that this becomes more than what we're planning yeah but you guys got to remember that when i started my channel every video wasn't what you wanted to see even today it's not but i have a pretty good idea of what you want to see and what you want me to do for the most part um and that's the way the podcast is going to go mm -hmm. i don't know if they want to hear it in this way or in this manner or if they they want it a different way or how yeah. we're supposed to do it the thing i need to work on is dead air i hate dead air right so a lot of times when i have a guest on a video they're mm -hmm. like oh joey let them talk yeah i'm like 
I was. And then you weren't there. And they were they being quiet talking. most of the time. Yeah. And like, it was dead air, dead yeah. air. So I have to keep talking and keep them going and keep, keep them. Everyone engaged. Yeah, keep them engaged and keep, keep going, keep going. And I hope that I don't do that on the podcast. But if there's dead air, I'm going to have to talk. Yeah. I got so And sometimes I'm worried even right now. Like, I'm like, whoa, what if I don't have enough to say? Mm-hmm. Uh, but just like allow yourself to have pauses and stuff. Is sort of what I just keep telling myself, but also like, just have a conversation. It's just a conversation. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be great. I think that everybody's gonna see a different side of me. Yeah, definitely gonna be more relatable. Like yeah. I don't walk around my my in my life on speed. No, of course not. In the mornings, I wake up, I drink some coffee, and then if I know I got to make a video, I'm down in some energy drinks, mm-hmm. and then I go make the video. Mm-hmm. My mind's working a little faster. You got to remember, I'm almost forty. I'm almost forty years old. I'm Thirty-eight. Uh, my mind isn't as sharp as you younger little bastards. <laughs> I'm not mad. No, I'm a little mad. I don't want to be this old. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't think you're no, old. No. Um, you know, so I, I, you know, and I go out and I try to engage and I try to get excited. And, you know, I want you to be excited about what I'm excited about. Sometimes it's like natural and I can't control the excitement. Yeah. When, when I get like giggly and stuff, mm-hmm. that's when you know. No. You know how I know. Here's how you know if I'm really liking a video if i'm truly into it if i'm like giving you the giving you the sauce (laughs) i just say one sentence you know what it is i think you know what it is you must know what it is if i'm talking about something (laughs) if i'm talking you're putting me on the spot and i'm like "Mm, if i'm talking a lot of sentences yeah if i'm talking about something and then and then i say let me explain yeah that is oh that's a good one that's definitely an iconic one of yours oh that's i get butterflies and i get chills and i'm like i'm about to drop something cool and i just want to make a cool video and a really fun video to watch and i'm not good at editing and i'm not good at like being flashy or anything at one point i was doing like green screen and stuff and that was cutting edge at the time but i couldn't keep up with like the editing ways of like like uh my buddy uh george uh marvakis uh from coral fish 12g probably the best editing in uh aquariums right now but he's got a team of editors and stuff and i probably should do that but i can't get give away creative control Mm -hmm. i love all of it Mm -hmm. and and maybe i'm just a controlling guy but well you also when you're editing i was gonna say i'm a controlling dick (laughs) this is my pocket i can say that i can say that right guys i I can say that You liked, I think you liked knowing that, like, you made this. It's yours. Mm -hmm. You came up with this. This is how you wanted it to be styled. This is the story you wanted it to tell. And if Mm -hmm. you give that away, it becomes almost like it's not, yeah, it's no longer yours. Yeah. Um, Maybe I take the name of the website too serious. Maybe. You tube. Not them tube. Not friend tube. Not I hired you. But I think that's how it should be. I think that's probably why the name was YouTube. well i definitely left a lot of growth on the table um i probably could have you know grown tremendously faster if i would have had a team or anything like that george is doing it right yeah. george is doing it right i'm not down talking him it's not for me but he's doing it right he's doing a better job in my opinion i think so i think well, I think well for what he does yeah it's just I, I was talking i was talking to sean hale the other day style. and and he was talking about he's like george is now the anthony bourdain of aquariums it's like damn yeah yeah, and he and he's like, and and you are an expert in the hobby. He's talking about me. I'm not familiar with the uh, oh, Anthony. So he's like travels and eats food all over the world. Okay. Isn't it? I'd rather be Gordon Ramsay. Mm. Uh, animated character, engaging, mm-hmm. expert yeah. knows what he's doing to an extent. I mean, yeah. better than me. <laughs> better than me oh i love to cook if i wasn't doing fish tanks i feel like i'd be a chef i'd be I creating would. something yeah you i wouldn't would like be working it. with my hands i wouldn't be doing it yourself do it yourself for me comes from being broke like growing up with nothing and learning i was the man of the house i had to fix everything i was the one to fix stuff mm-hmm. and um you know my first aquarium stand i built with a like a saw that you move with your hand right and a screwdriver that you twist mm-hmm my hands were almost bleeding Wrong. when I was done. Yeah. Building a fish tank stand for a 55 gallon for Oscars. Yeah. Those guys right there. Yeah. What do you guys think? Was sound good? Look good? Stuff like that? I want to uh, incorporate more cameras. Perhaps we'll get somebody here. I'll pay somebody to come run the switchboard, I guess you would yeah. call it, etc. You know, I wouldn't mind. We'll, we'll see once we have guests. Yeah. 
we'll That'll see once we have guests. That'll definitely make it a bit more interesting. Yeah. But the idea behind this is to do um, almost like a Joe Rogan podcast. Mm -hmm. It's one of the only podcasts that I can listen to that I can listen to. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah. You feel, uh, like and, you're, uh, you feel like you're not just wasting time. You feel like you're getting something yeah a little it. something from yeah. it yeah, i feel like we're in a conversation but also learning yeah like that meme i sent you of the chair and it's like just the arms and like a glass of wine but the chair's empty yeah. but that's like how it feels when yeah. you're listening to a podcast well that's a, 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 another idea of what like the hobby's not or the podcast isn't going to about be about like i'm not going to structure this in terms of okay today's a topic about this mm -hmm. that's so i did that yeah and it bored me to death yeah i could dumpster why can't we do topics within a podcast like yeah. maybe something will come up yeah or a question a, well, I or think, yeah. a discussion and then you title it that way too yeah like this is what came up so let's call it this yeah yeah so tell me a little bit about what it was like to start dating a youtuber that was well established and how you felt the first time you were going to get on a video in front of millions of people well million um and just kind of i guess run us through what these guys don't know and um, i will use the bathroom okay i um i felt a bit nervous i think as anyone pretty much would um but i did also know that like this isn't live no one's watching it right now and so it doesn't have to be perfect um lots of people might watch it but they're not standing out in the crowd right beh behind me like I don't have to look at them um so I just tried to sort of keep keep myself as myself and um just say whatever came to mind at the time we were doing a escape off so it was sort of easy because I was able to talk back and forth um with Joey um yeah when I first started dating him I didn't know as much about YouTube as I know now so I knew he had a, a large very large channel but I didn't I didn't fully know how big it was I don't think like I think that I became more aware of the size of his channel with time because when I used to watch YouTube myself before it was like I didn't pay attention to how many subscribers subscribers people had yeah. I just watched them if I liked their content I, I notice your transition words I'm not gonna put too much pressure on you but transitional words so back in the day I would say essentially basically nowadays I'm saying uh, phenomenal yeah. and etc I don't yeah. know where etc came from that's not my word it but basically came. it's a way to end a sentence where you're trying to talk about something Multiple else things, yeah. the best thing you can do is pause mm -hmm. just pause instead of saying um yeah or okay or whatever like a lot of people I used to say um a lot so yeah. um welcome to uh, my channel mm -hmm. and um those are transitional words you're trying yeah. to get to the next sentence but give yourself time yeah, yeah just pause instead and you'll get better with this yeah i mean I she's not she doesn't come from I'm a podcasting it. background or history or anything like that but uh I so there shy. i am saying uh, i know <laughs> but you've never been shy were you shy? oh i was such a shy child oh you were a shy kid yeah child like so shy yeah and i think anyone that ends up liking to talk a lot when they're older mm -hmm. always says oh i used to be so shy i kind of think now that I'm thinking, <laughs> I kind of think now that I'm thinking, <laughs> <coughs> I need a cough button. Cough. Joe Rogan has a po cough button. Why don't we have a cough button? What is a cough button? Well, you press this little button when you need to cough or uh -oh. you want to say something and it mutes your mic for a Ooh, quick sec. We do need a cough button. Yeah. I worked at like call centers and we had cough buttons hmm. and I didn't use it to cough. I used it to like talk, talk shit. <laughs> this, this idiot. <laughs> like, things like that. I was a credit specialist for like three years. So if you ever have any, uh, if you want to improve your credit or you're looking to get a mortgage, or <laughs> no, I'm really you know good at the it. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I got great credit. Well, um, I think that uh, right now is the best time for me to start a podcast, and I'll tell you why. Obviously, we're gonna we're not hitting the ground running. I've got a lot to learn, and I mean, I got to read the comments and what these guys think about it, and you know, maybe they're like, Ugh, 
just talk about a topic who knows we, we have to evolve have and change you guys got to be supportive <laughs> and actually be constructive i mean mm -hmm. don't don't leave like negative comments because i'll just delete them and they'll mean nothing to me yeah and the people that like whine and stuff i hear your voice in a very certain way mm -hmm. me 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 delete yeah like leave something constructive that i can use like something hey, that Joey, you can improve upon you know if you want to down talk or say something negative i got to be able to find it useful and who knows like maybe you get a shout out like hey yo john thanks for saying this i'm gonna start doing this moving forward yeah. like, who knows you right? want them if they're gonna say something negative you want it to be something that's like eye-opening like yeah. oh i never thought of that but one of the things i thought about was like is it too late to start a podcast because i did one six years ago and i did it topic related terrified of my audience type of thing mm -hmm. and now that i want to have guests isn't it the best moment now that i have so many relationships and i know so many people and that's mm -hmm. literally the best part about you know having a large aquarium channel is you like you 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 get to know a ton of people mm -hmm. that i think you guys will really find interesting, interesting yeah. i know people a ton are of, always reaching out i'm gonna run through a lot of the youtubers mm -hmm. and those and like personalities because i yeah. think we could have good conversations but i'm also going to talk to like scientists and people that they know nothing yes. about that i think they'd be fine those uh, ones would be really cool incredibly interesting yeah but i also want to like somebody that knows a tremendous amount about the industry and has had measurable impacts that i can't wait to get on the podcast and have a real conversation with him and expose him as the real person he is like fantastic expose in a good way yeah sean yeah um sean hale that's the 50 percent of um aquashella um fritz mm -hmm. uh has his own pet store mm -hmm. like fish store yeah. he does a t lot of stuff and he knows so much about like insider very stuff very knowledgeable yeah yeah so if you guys recommend um a personality or an individual or somebody make sure you also include a question you want me to ask because lord knows where this podcast is going mm -hmm. i don't know mm -hmm. like i'm also thinking like if we get stuck for content heck we'll, we'll react to things yeah yeah you just want the door all the doors to be open yeah we're not gonna have any doors closed yeah. And I'm not editing them. I'm not no. going to sit here and edit a two hour podcast and listen to myself again. I can barely, li I got to listen to myself right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how things go. Mm -hmm. But I definitely hope you guys are enjoying it and uh, you, you guys want to come along for the ride. There is no time limit to these. I mean, um, and that's what, that's what I'm taking from my last podcast because I did one or I did five minute podcasts right. and I did one hour podcast. The majority mm -hmm. of them were for like an hour. Mm -hmm. And um, I forgot that I did them for like an hour, hour yeah. and a half. As long as but there's I literally, stuff that keeps coming up to talk about, you don't even realize how long you're talking for. Well, I used to sit at my desk, and my desk is facing the wall, mm -hmm. and I would just talk to myself, just like this, for an hour. <laughs> and I just ended up like, there's nothing, I'm not, I, I'm not getting anything from this. Mm -hmm. Like, it was generating um, interest and tremendous amount of attention and views, yeah. etc. I was like... <laughs> you didn't have anyone to bounce off of. Not, yeah and i just wasn't fine i wasn't fun it wasn't interesting yeah. and um you know the the podcasts were incredibly um educational but yeah people probably found them interesting you just probably didn't feel interesting yeah. making them and podcasts were relatively new to the aquarium hobby at that point like yeah. five six years ago what was it 2015 or something like that yeah well i, I think started. um podcasts in general are a lot more popularized right now mm -hmm. than they have been in the past but I think the first guest is going to be for nostalgic reasons, for aquarium wife reasons, for... Oh, do you know I have an aquarium wife? I do. Who is it? It's Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rachel! Yeah, so um, we'll get her on here. I think she'll probably be the first guest um, uh, because for simple reasons. I mean, I don't want to say that I'm like... Uh, what's that word when somebody's like 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 a soccer player won't change his socks or whatever that's called what's that called when they're like if you break a glass and then is you got bad luck for seven years oh superstitious yeah superstitious i'm not superstitious but i'm a little stitious <laughs> <laughs> michael uh, scott yeah you guys might get a lot of office references here um and i don't want to <laughs> no okay I'll, I'll skip the Michael <laughs> Scott practices. You just turn into Michael Scott for the rest yeah. of today's podcast. Oh, that'd be epic. Um, no, so <laughs> so she was the first guest on... I did this um, 
series uh, and how I got away from just like just doing like monotonous videos of how to build something um, and you can only do so many of them before like you've shown everything yeah um, I did this uh, what was it called it was like Tuesday or Thursday to oh topic of the week yeah it was Thursday topic of the week or Tuesday topic of the week. I don't mm -hmm. know. It was a basically an opportunity for me to talk about other stuff. Mm -hmm. And she was the first person that I had ever had on my channel for anything else other than like a do it yourself project. Right. And that did really well for me. It did really well for her. It helped get her hit the ground running because mm -hmm. I really, really wanted her to be a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. um, in retrospect, I don't know if it was the best idea, the best decision. I mean, uh, I, uh, and this is a conversation to have with her. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be fascinating. We got to get Rachel on. There's so many things we already have to say to and talk to her yeah. about. Yeah. But uh, she's over there raising absolute studs of daughters. Yeah. We got Clelia, who is incredibly artistic, creative, and hilarious. She doesn't know that she's funny. And if I told her she was funny, she'd probably get mad. <laughs> she's hilarious because of it. <laughs> and then Abby, who's like think she just got a silver medal in diving and she's just hit 18 i was like no you're still in grade nine yeah in my head like you still have to go get me coffee <laughs> at aquatic experience <laughs> they're good girls yep. but yeah we'll see what happens and we'll get some feedback on this podcast and whatnot and uh we'll, we'll see where things go but i guess one of the things in the topics of today that i kind of wanted to touch base on that kind of irks me is when people look at my tanks and they're like, Joey, you need to do a biotope. Do you even know what a biotope is? Do you know what a biotope is or biotype? I believe it's when you're trying to to create a tank that's just like the environment they would live in. Yeah, it's based in on the, nature. In yeah. nature, yeah. So of course I know what a biotope oh, wow. is, but I also know what a real biotope is. Yeah. And they're incredibly boring. Yeah. So if we were looking at a shell dweller's natural environment, what we'd be looking at is nothing but algae and sand. And then as far as the eye can see, shells. Mm -hmm. But if I do that in the main aquarium, in, a, in an actual aquarium, people would be like, oh, that's horrible. You yeah. should have did something it's more natural. To look at. It doesn't yeah. look very if nice. If I did a discus biotope, what are we going to look at? Mud? What are we gonna, mud and a few sticks mm -hmm. mate no plants mm -hmm. for the most part i mean it depends on so what a real biotope is ideally is um and 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 you guys can continue the conversation in the uh in the comment section below and i really mean that like continue the conversation because who knows we might look at the comments of a past video and bring it up to further the discussion but sure. a true biotope is very simple it's a sliver or a slice of an of an exact location yeah and when it comes to biotope aquariums if you add some tannins or you make it look like there's some rubbage or mm -hmm. usually they're not even close because mm -hmm. it has to be the exact specimens of plants the fish that are found directly with them mm -hmm. the substrate everything has to match and if you truly make a real biotope yeah there's they're cool to an experienced hobbyist but for the average person it's gross yeah and it's not attractive and and a lot of times my channel's too big to do biotopes mm -hmm. i have to For do a something small portion of people who might be interested in seeing it it's yeah. not going to captivate i want to do them an, an i think it would be cool i want to do but i also understand that if i make a video a lot of people are going to want to emulate it and if i don't right. do something that's they actually gain inspiration from mm -hmm. then nobody's going to watch i'm not doing my job mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's a, it's a weird um it's going to be interesting once we get some youtubers on mm -hmm. here and we hear their take on yeah. um what they experience yeah, and growth and development and uh, why they make the types of videos they do and what is their true purpose and mm -hmm. i know some people are just like oh i just do whatever joey does and yeah. hope for some views and make some money mm -hmm. but there's some really genuine youtubers out there that i can't wait to talk to yeah i'm interested in talking to seeing their yeah. face hearing their voice that's a big one for me because i'm fans so i did that thing with sean yeah. and as i'm listening to him all i want to tell him is like bro I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and he's down talking really himself. You. He's only got 40, 50,000 <laughs> subscribers. I was like, bro, but I've been listening to you for a decade and it's so fun to talk to you. Yeah. But you got to play it cool because I'm the big channel. Yeah. It's so stupid. But that's one of the things I'm excited about and looking forward to is like talking to these people that yeah. I'm, a f I'm a fan of. Yeah. But it, what I'm even more excited to do is talk to people that I'm not a fan of. Yeah. I think that's going to be super interesting because I've done that. It I've, is like a debate and debates are interesting. It could like, be a debate why? or I could be like, damn. 
I had you all wrong. Yeah. And that's happened to me before where I've met channels that I despised. And I was like, bro, if I ever see you in person, break in that jaw. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's literally happened. And then I meet them. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. I like this guy. Yeah. I like him a lot. Yeah. And you have to give the opportunity to like hear what is your stuff. I'm going to have him on the podcast. The person I'm talking about. Don't ruin it. But I'm going to have him on the podcast. I'm going to tell that story. And I want to hear it from his perspective. Yes. Yeah. It'd be interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. And then there's others. And and, and, and then then a lot of people would be able to guess my my friends. And they'll, they'll have them on. But guys, this is... I've been making YouTube videos for 13 years. Who knows how long this podcast can go long, go on for. But I can assure you that so long as you guys support it, regardless of what's going on, I need to know what you don't like. If you want to hit the like button, do it. Yeah. I appreciate it. It helps with the algorithm. But also comment and let me know what you liked or mm-hmm. elaborate Even on something. Even if we didn't talk about what you're interested in in today's podcast, it could come up in another podcast. Yeah. The most important, though, is like if you don't if you don't like it, I need to know. Yeah. I Why? Because like, if I just see a dislike and there's no negative comments, I'm like, oh, you're just hating. Uh-huh. I just move on. Yeah. But if you leave like an actual critical point, yeah. we're like... I liked it until you said this mm-hmm. or something. I don't care. Just engage in some way that's useful that we can build off of. Because mm-hmm. the the Aquarians, I'm filtered. I'm just the host. Yeah. I'm not the personality anymore. I'm the host, and we're gonna have a conversation. And if you know, we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens. Yep. But when you guys subscribe by the thousands, I wonder what it's at right now. This is exciting. This is like starting a whole new channel. It's so exciting. It's mm-hmm. so. It's so fun to me. There's so many opportunities to come from it. Yeah. Because, I mean, in my main channel, I mean, I have to live in the shadow. Absolute shadow of trending. Mm -hmm. The number one trending video on YouTube, period. Yeah. All across the world. A fish tank video for the first time in history. That's that's my legacy. I already already peaked. Yeah. There's no much more than that and i have to try to live in that shadow i've gotten rid of that feeling over the past few months and like mm-hmm. I, I realized you know i can't you know replicate that type I've of situation heard that again it's but very hard to be on the top because you don't have those people that you're looking up to being like oh i hope i can get as many as that person someday there's almost five thousand. that's amazing four thousand seven hundred and eighteen subscribers 4,700 people watched the initial upload. So the turnover rate, some people subscribed without even watching the video. (laughs) Two dislikes. 920 likes. That is insane. That is pretty incredible. Somebody said, mark my words, this will be big. They're like, somebody commented earlier, they're like, imagine if this podcast blows up or something like that Th- or this guy's gonna be a big deal someday or something and then some people that didn't get the joke was like oh he's already a big deal I was like, no that's not funny <laughs> it's funny when the first guy said it um maybe maybe at some point and it just comes down to time management and how well we're able to capture the screen and what's going to go on because we haven't had a guest yet so i don't know but as soon as the guest clicks accept it's recording. I'm not yeah. prepping them. We're not yeah. going to have beginner conversation. Mm-hmm. We're not going to be like, hey, you ready? Because we want to capture all that stuff. Yes, that's, that's when some, some of the best stuff gets Yes, said. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Like Some of the best conversations happen within the first five minutes. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, lights, camera, action. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, I no, am so-and-so. It. No, bro. That's not what this is about. <laughs> Needs to be right in the moment. Yeah. That's why if we have guests like and we're picking them up at the airport 45 minutes or so away, it's like, don't talk <laughs> until <laughs> we get to the- on screen. I'm gonna have to buy Haley a car or something. She's turned 16 in, a, in less than a month. She'll. I'll send her. Go pick <laughs> Go these pick up. Go pick them up. Go pick them up. We can't talk to them yet. Yeah. <laughs> I need a balcony. <laughs> no, not Michael Jackson. I was gonna say I need a balcony to dangle a child. <laughs> like I want them to feel like I'm really important. I think like I am. One of the things I'm nervous about with having people come to my house is like I think they think they're coming to like a cloud house right. or like Team Ten. When they come and see house. how basic my house is and it's 40, 50 years old and it's just really anybody could live here. That's not what they're paying attention to, though. They're like, they're like, I'm at the king of DIY's house. They don't care what it looks like. Yeah, maybe I have insecurities then. Yeah, that makes more sense. Well, I would like that to make more sense. Well, even think of you are so excited to see. Would you really care? 
I would I, be surprised and yeah, I'd be I judged. Mean, it's I would, I would it's judge. something you would notice and maybe you'd talk about it more after the fact, but initially, like your initial reaction wouldn't be like, oh, thought he was going to have a nicer house. Like, mm, maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't. I mean, like, if, people, if everybody went on Google Maps and seen, oh, Google Maps now has one of my old car. I had oh, that. Oh, yeah, straight view. Yeah, I, um, I used to. Don't uh, say your address on here. <laughs> I had a. Um, well, this was two three years ago when i was making substantially more money i mm-hmm. i bought materialistic things and i bought things because i never had anything my whole life it, you know i don't have anybody like telling me like joe you should be saving or anything like that things are different now um now that i'm back to like making get just get just get by type money but um google street views has the corvette in the in the driveway oh does it yeah and i hope I it never updates I've seen it. <laughs> yeah i missed that car i need to go see it and take a screenshot yeah, so i had so a, I'll always remember my choices of vehicles was a corvette a c7 and a um escalade cadillac escalade if that gives you any idea of how much money you make when you trend the number one video and all of that was bought based on that month of trending type thing mm. um then i had to go back to reality and I no longer have those vehicles. I had them for uh, a couple of years and I took, kept them as long as I could, but it's just too expensive. And, you know, um, I wasn't smart and I'm not broke. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, not broke, broke. You had your fun. Yeah. I had fun. For them. Memories. And, you know, I, you know, I think I, it's important to not have regrets about stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I think that's something a lot of people do is they regret so many things, but why, like, just enjoy it. Yeah. You just yeah. have to enjoy it. You can't be worrying about mm, what if this or regretting things because then you're not going to ever have actually lived. Yep. Yep. I'm over here reading the comments on that latest video. These guys are so supportive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I've seen the first few several comments. And One they minute were ago, very, legend very has been foretold. Supportive. 11 minutes ago. I'm excited been sub to your main channel since 2016 looking forward to jumping on this adventure from the start that's that's pretty incredible it is because maybe this could be something big or maybe it could be a huge flop maybe this could be my downturn who knows maybe maybe you guys don't actually like me maybe you like opportunity and it's waiting to happen maybe you prefer (laughs) coffee and red bull joey maybe yeah i think there's something for everyone yeah we'll see we'll see but bottom line, you guys got to tell me what you like, what you don't like, who you want to see, what your questions towards them are. If I were to ask them questions, but oddly, uh, it's probably going to be conversation. conversation. <laughs> there will be rough topics because yeah. they're known for something yeah. or I want to deep dive deep. Mm-hmm. But that's not. But you guys know that be. I will ask them the hard questions. I will ask them the questions that they won't answer on camera type of thing. And they'll answer with me. Mm-hmm. And it's not going to be like an attack formation like yo how much money do you make you only do this <laughs> da, 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 da. i sound like randy <laughs> savage um no it's not gonna be like that oh do the thing like she was so funny earlier you don't do the want thing me to do that do the thing can i do an accent <sighs> what's the accent okay no <laughs> He never lets me have any fun. <laughs> yeah, before we started recording, dude. I know I talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies we don't and gentlemen. Open that side of me. <laughs> Welcome to Aquariums Unfiltered. You guys are my tank mates. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. Hopefully, this will get better with time. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Uh, show some love. Show some support. I mean, we're they this already is, have. They, yeah, they have. Yeah, I can't ask for much more. Um, except for them to subscribe and turn no- notifications on and like the Hit video. That thumbs up. Oh, look at me being a being a YouTuber and knowing what to say. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope that um, you guys give me a chance and uh, allow me to develop, and we'll come along the ways. And Lord knows where this is going to take us or where it's going to end up. But I hopefully that you guys come along for the ride. I mean, for those that have been along around for since I started my King of DIY channel. And we watched what happened there, and I'm going to dump that same amount of passion right here. Yeah. And I hope you guys join me. Until next time, Dankmates, thank you for joining us Thanks on Aquariums Unfiltered.